Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We are back with a new video. If you like our content, please like the video and do share it. So let us start with the first news. July 1 is celebrated as the National Doctors Day in India. Doctors Day is being celebrated for acknowledging the services of doctors and their huge contribution in the medical advancement in India. Why is the Doctors Day celebrated on 1st July and what is the history behind it? Doctors Day in India is celebrated on 1st July to honor the legendary physician and the second chief minister of West Bengal Dr Bidan Chandra Roy Dr Bidan Chandra Roy was born on July 1 1882 and he died on the same day July 1 1962 at the age of 80 years Also Dr Roy was honored with the country's highest civilian award Bharat Ratna on February 4 1961 Dr Bidan Chandra Roy is one of the few people in history to have obtained two degrees simultaneously that is fellowship of royal colleges of surgeons and membership of royal colleges of physicians of united kingdom national doctors day in india is celebrated on 1st july marking the death anniversary of dr bidan chandra roy and uh, in other countries the national doctors day is celebrated on different dates like in australia on 30th of march in brazil 18th october in canada may 1 in turkey 14th march in united states it is 30th march and so on Now moving on towards our next news IIT Madras has launched world's first bachelor degree in programming and data science The online course was launched through a webinar by the Union HRD minister Ramesh Pokhriyal According to the ministry data science is one of the fastest growing sectors that is predicted to create around 11.5 million jobs by 2026 so the faculty from iit madras are addressing the need of this sector using online education processes and presenting an inclusive and affordable education model for all those who are willing to get a degree in data science so what is the structure of this course the IIT Madras online degree course will have three levels. First is the foundational level, second one is the diploma level and third one is the degree level. The fees of the three level being 32000, 110000 and 1 lakh respectively. Now, who can apply for this online course from IIT Madras? Anyone who has passed his 12th standard with maths and english as the primary subject or anyone who has passed the bachelor's degree program from any other institute in india can apply for this online digital course you can also get the degree of this course parallel to doing some another course in another institute also you can exit at any point of time during the duration of the online course so this was some of the details of the online course of data science launched by iit madras for more details you can visit their website online degree.iitm.ac.in from july 1 european union agrees to a safe travel list what is a safe travel list residents of the countries included in the list will be allowed to enter the european union countries countries that are not part of european union and are deemed to be safe will be allowed to enter the european union 
by including them in the safe travel list. The three most affected countries United States, Brazil and China are excluded from the safe travel list for now. The safe travel list will be uh, reviewed every 14 days and some of the countries will be added and some might be taken out from the list. This move of the European Union to agree to a safe travel list or issue a safe travel list for the countries that will be allowed to enter the European Union is aimed at supporting the travel industry and the tourist destinations which are located in the European Union countries. Some of the countries that are included in the safe travel list of the European Union are Australia, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, South Korea, Thailand, etc. Though Britain has implemented the Brexit, but till December 31, 2020, UK or Britain will be the part of European Union and will also follow the safe travel list issued by the European Union. Moving on towards the next news, the Indian government is planning to acquire more lethal version of the SPICE 2000 bombs. The SPICE 2000 bombs are developed by Israeli company Rafael and were given to India. SPICE bomb is a type of air to surface missile which can be fired from an aeroplane towards a static location on the earth. SPICE 2000 bomb stands for Smart Precise Impact and Cost Effective. This is the full form of SPICE. Now coming on towards the structure of SPICE bomb. The SPICE 2000 bomb is divided into two pieces. The first piece has a camera located on its tip and the second piece is the last piece which has fins on it. This SPICE 2000 bomb is a guided missile bomb. So what you need to do is give some of the details to this guided missile and the guided missile will strike the location that you have. The information given to the guided missile includes GPS coordinates of the target satellite images of the target, information about the land around the target and the angle at which the bomb should strike the target. So during the time of action when the SPICE 2000 bombs are fired towards the target, what they do is they take the pictures of the target in real time and they cross reference the photos given to them during the data storage. And so by comparing both the images, the one taken in real time and the one entered during information storage. And so in this way, the SPICE 2000 bombs make adjustment to their flight during real time action. This is done by the unique scene matching algorithm of SPICE 2002 bombs. Moreover. The SPICE 2000 bombs are capable of hitting the targets up to 70 km of range. For those who doesn't remember the SPICE 2000 bombs, the SPICE 2000 bombs are the bombs which were used to destroy the jesh e mohammed camps during the Balakot strike by India. Moving on towards the most recent news. India recently banned 59 Chinese apps under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act. This section of the Information Technology Act empowers the government of India to ban any such apps which are posing a threat to national security. And so under this section, the Indian government has recently banned 59 apps which are originating from China. Among the apps which are banned, let us go through the details of some of the major apps banned by India. 
So first is TikTok. TikTok has more than 600 million downloads and TikTok is owned by a company named ByteDance Limited. This ByteDance Limited is registered in the Cayman Islands and the ByteDance Limited company is ultimately owned by a Chinese company. The second one is UC Browser. UC Browser is owned by the Alibaba Group and the UC Browser in India is owned by an entity called UC Web Mobile Private Limited. This UC Web Mobile Private Limited has around 130 million active users. UC Browser is the second most used mobile internet browser in India after Google Chrome. This company is based in British Virgin Islands and is further registered in the Cayman Islands. Another popular app band was Share It. Share It is the most popular file sharing app which has around 400 million active users in India. Talking about the global user base, the app has around 1.8 billion users worldwide. The application ShareIt is operated by the Indian entity ShareIt Technology which is owned by the Hong Kong based ShareIt HK Technology Limited. Talking about the shopping apps, the Club Factory and Shane like apps are also banned in India now which are Chinese origin apps. The Club Factory app used to be India's third largest e-commerce company having 30,000 sellers on its platform. This application is also owned by a Hong Kong based company Unbeaten Price Limited. And lastly talking about the Cam Scanner app. The Cam Scanner app is was the most widely used scanning app in the world and it had more than 100 million users in India. The Chem Scanner app was owned by the INT SIG, Int SIG Information Co Cooperation Limited Company, which is registered in Shanghai, China itself. So, these were highlights of some of the major apps which were banned by the Indian government and which are having Chinese origin. So Indian government recently banned 59 apps which are found to be of Chinese origin. So this is it for today. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates from our channel.